north the water goes clockwise, south it goes anti-clockwise, but on the equator it doesn't rotate. Then after pouring you have to come down the water, you have to stabilize. Yeah. That's why I put this metal. And then after stabilizing you this flower. Get it? So which way is the flower it's rotating? It's rotating clockwise direction because you're in the north. And yep. if you go to the south, it will be the other round. And your body weight is also less by 3% on the equator. Okay. The lighter one. So le let's go to the other one. Now we're crossing the equator here. And we are going to the south. Stabilizing the water. Now it's going in the opposite. Oh, it was sucked into the earth. Now it's going the opposite direction. And then on the 21st March and 23rd September, it will be Saturday. That's when the sun rises and sets directly above the equator line. So at midday, you can see your shadow. The shadow is because it's straight up. Oh. <coughs> now let's do it on the line and see. Now we're going to the equator. Now we are on the equator, the middle of the earth. That is the zero latitude. The zero latitude. Is the water spinning? And this land traverses only 10 countries all over the whole world and 6 of them in Africa. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's no spin. Still a bit of spinning, it's not supposed to be there. Okay. So you might find out I can try to pull it a bit but does it then get sad. No spinning of the flower. What is your name? My name's I'm Huntington Kalunji. Pennington? Huntington, yeah. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you. And you too, my brother. Yeah.